Good evening. Uh, it's been, uh, been quite a picturesque day. Uh, snow's coming down pretty hard. But uh, tonight I want to talk about uh, product design. So I was watching this video, uh, it was like two days ago, on Johnny Ives, who was the chief uh, product designer over at Apple. And it, it was a pretty interesting video. Uh, I'll put the link in the description. But his like main influence was uh, a German designer by the name of Dieter Rams. And Dieter Rams, he worked at a company called Brown in uh, Germany. They're they're big in like home products from like the 1950s up to like the 80s or some. And like they made a bunch of stuff, everything from like radios to blenders to whatever, uh, like cameras, I think. Like they made a ton of stuff, and uh, Brown, uh, not Brown, um, Dieter Rams. He was part of this kind of this uh, school of design known as the Bauhaus, and it was um this kind of started in, like 1920s Germany, I think, and it evolved into what we now know as uh, functionalism. So Dieter Rams, he was all about. Uh, kind of like minimalism and this very like clean look in products. So his design philosophy was that if it didn't add to the functionality of the product, it shouldn't exist. So um, he, he was a big proponent of the uh, philosophy of less is more. He was uh, famous. He famously said good design is less design. And he uh, if you look at his products, they really exemplify this, you know, like um, I I recommend you uh, look up the Brown, uh, spelled like the German way, RT20. It's this radio and absolutely beautiful design, you know. Um, very like straight lines, uh, very muted colors, you know. And the knobs, the knobs are just like these very simple, they're just basically just circles, you know. Um, Everything from like the inscriptions above it, above it, you know, it was like all lowercase, uh, very clean font. Um, you know, it's not like that, like all caps, very technical. What we're we're used to in America is just like everything's very subtle, everything's very honest. And uh, Br Dieter Rams had this idea that a uh, product should be like, like I I think I heard somewhere that. Brown didn't even ship manuals with their products, you know? Like, they didn't come with instruction manuals. They were designed it in a way that you could just look at them and know how to use them, you know? Like, his, like the radios, they're like... They, you could just look at them and, like, they had the little inscriptions. And there weren't t too many knobs, you know? Like, they were very easy to figure out and they are very functional. They are very humanist. You know, it, um, it kind of went well with the... Uh, the mid-century modern uh, style at the time, you know, in the 50s and 60s. And he just, um, he just represented this very, like, clean and simple look. And this very timeless look. It was like, the, th the great thing about having a simple design is that it ages well, you know? Like, when you have tons of ornaments and tons of decorations, those things age, you know? We, uh, we go through a lot of trends as a culture, so over time, it's like, if if something's, like, very, like, of the times, it's very, like, decorated, you can, like, say, like, oh, yeah, like, that was, like, that era, but with, like, a very clean and simple design, it's, it's timeless, it's, like, there's nothing to age, it's just, it exists in its most quintessential form, and you can kind of see that, uh, in like the modern day like Apple UI, uh, that's kind of what the Johnny Ives video was about. Um, kind of how like Apple got away from like that skeuomorphic design. And I'm on the I'm on I'm of the unpopular opinion that uh, the skeuomorphic design was ugly. You know, it's it seems like everyone loves to hate on like this kind of like this abstract corporate design. And don't get me wrong, like corporate designs can come out pretty ugly. But I think like like, everyone likes to, like, they're nostalgic for, like, the era of, like, Windows 7, and everything has, like, the shadows and the reflections, and it's all curvy, and to me, like, I love the
the look of Windows 10. You know, it's very like clean. It's uh, straight lines, not too many curves. Uh, just the, like the right amount of curves to f still feel like a UI, but like there's nothing about it that's like of the times. It, it, it ages very well. And that's kind of why I was disappointed with uh, Windows 11. It was like, like, why change it if it's not broken? But I know a lot of people who who complain like it's flat, it's boring, and I, I don't know. I think people like a lot of people just don't have good taste in design. I think people just don't like change. You know, I don't. I don't think it's that they don't like that the design is flat. I think it's that they didn't like that they woke up one morning and it looked different. So they kind of just reminisce of this time before. But, um, yeah, like, I believe in that very clean and simple design, you know. Uh, like the whole thing about Johnny Ives, um, software doesn't have a material, you know. Like, when it comes to designing physical products, like, there's like a way that metal looks. There's a way that wood looks. There's a way that plastic looks. But software doesn't have a look, you know, software doesn't have a material, so it's it's very abstract, and I kind of like that the direction of things have gone is like this very clean, abstract look. I think a, a good example of this would be, um, right here I have a, a little Philips Dictaphone, um, this is from like, what, the 90s or something, uh, and it's, uh, has a pretty I'd consider this like a very uh, functionalist design you know there's basically two controls you have like your recording button right here and then uh, you uh, have your track control right here so like you can that's how you stop the recording you know you can uh, you get a good click out of this you can lock the uh, track thing right there and uh, yeah the uh, cassette just pops out like that it's a uh, mini cassette um, you know, speaker right here. Um, yeah, it's just this very simple design, and like I don't, even, I don't think we even have the fucking manual for this thing. It's like you, you, you basically like pick it up and you already know how to use it. You know, record, forward, backwards, play, whatever, and it's just a very simple, clean design. You know, like, and the kind of funny thing is, is like I don't even know when this thing was made. If it was like the seventies, the nineties, whatever. Um, I guess whenever mini cassette was popular, that's the only thing to really date this, because it's like it's such a simple design, um, you know, like you can't date it. Um, there's nothing stylistic about it. There's nothing trendy about it, and I think that really embodies embodies like that functionalist design uh, principles is. Kind of like the humanist, you pick it up and you don't know how to use it. You know, not too many knobs, not too many switches or buttons or whatever. And I think like like I'm a big uh, I'm a big critic of the GNU project. That was what my last kind of um, little fireside chat was about. And the um, like the, like GCC, uh, if we want to like take the radio analogy, GCC has too many knobs. You know, like. Dieter Rams is uh, RT20, the brown RT20. Like, it had, like, three knobs or something. Like, maybe five knobs. I don't know. And, like, each one had a very defined purpose. And, like, you know, simple inscription right above it to tell you what it did. And it was, it was pretty straightforward to use. And the problem, I, with, the problem I have with modern software is that there are so many little... Um, and let me say this. A lot of, I think a lot of this stuff comes out of convenience, you know, like we ha engineers kind of have this thing in their mind that if I just like put on this little, put on this extra little thing, it'll add like an extra bit of convenience. And over time that just builds up and we just have this, this convenience turns into complexity. So yeah, like whatever you're designing, like if you're a software engineer, carpenter, whatever, uh, I think we can learn a lot from uh, the functionalist philosophy and like that idea of like less is more and creating just like the idea that function and form are really just one and the same and that form will just come naturally by designing it around the function. Uh, you know, don't add unnecessary knobs. Don't add uh, just even like if they appear just for like 
sake of convenience, it's like if it doesn't need to exist, it shouldn't. So, uh, yeah, I think we could all learn a lot from that.